Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Mr. Sampath's website. If you find that this presentation is too small, and you would like to make it larger, all you have to do is to place the cursor on the blue spot logo, like this. And double click. Computer aided surgery is an exciting innovation that holds great promise in orthopedic surgery. The Charlie total hip replacement was introduced in the mid 1960s. Since then, there have been tremendous advances in our understanding of the biology and mechanics of joints. There have also been major developments in the materials which could be used in the manufacture of artificial joints. However, the development of the instruments used to implant these artificial joints has not kept pace with the other advances. A situation has therefore arisen in which very high-tech artificial joints are being inserted with relatively low-tech instruments. Total knee replacements fail faster if they are implanted outside of a narrow range of alignment. However, in practice, the variation in alignment found even when the operation is done by experienced surgeons is quite large. Computer-aided surgery addresses this problem consistently and accurately. Satellite navigation, or satnav as it is usually called, allows travelers to determine their position accurately. The radio waves from at least two satellites are used to pinpoint a position on the surface of the Earth. Computer-aided surgery works on a very similar principle. Special markers known as arrays are securely attached to the bones. When a total knee replacement is done, one array is attached to the femur here, and another is attached to the tibia. Here. Signals from the arrays are picked up and analyzed by the computer, which then determines their position. The computer can now track and record the movements of the patient's knee. The next step is the application of a cutting jig. This is held in approximately the correct position by pins. The computer determines the exact position of the jig. As you can see, the position is slightly off from zero. Position is fine, tuned by means of these colored knobs. Once the exact position is obtained, the jig is pinned in place and the cut is made. Once the cut is made, it is checked for accuracy. If it is not accurate, it can be done again. Before computer-aided surgery, it was not possible to check for accuracy in this way.
errors would only be found when X-rays were taken after the operation was finished. I hope that this demo has helped your understanding of this interesting subject. Thank you for listening.